Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. I'm Corey. I'm Marie. Yep. And what are we doing today, Marie? We're shopping for Lunar New Year presents for our family. This Lunar New Year is called Sola, and it's a three day holiday in Korea. It's one of the biggest out of all national holidays, right? There's Chuseok and Sola. Those two are like oh. the big, big ones. So during the Lunar New Year, a lot of Koreans will go to their hometowns to spend time with their family. We're no exception to this. We're going to go up to Dongducheon to hang out with Corey's Harmani and Imo and Imobu and hopefully all the rest of the family will be there too. We didn't want to go there empty handed and we also thought it was a great excuse to be able to show you some of the gift giving culture that yeah. happens here in Korea. Yeah, so. The thing that you do, Chuseok and Solal, is you go and you buy some kind of a gift set or something for your family. And so, like, the most common things are like spam, cooking oil, toothpaste, shampoo. Things that you would need in the home when you're, yeah. when you're hosting a lot of people, right? On the morning of Solal, everyone gets together and they have the, um, the table spread out with all kinds of food and uh, they have the white paper with the names of your deceased ancestors or relatives. Like for my family, uh, we do my grandfather's name and my uncle's name, um, who are both uh, deceased. And so everyone does the bowing and um, yeah, and then we enjoy the food. We're here in front of the main branch of Shinsegae Bekwajang. If you look right over here, you'll see the old building and the one behind us is actually the new building. Yeah, and it's big. It's this big. Shinsegae on the top and over the doorway as well. It does, because it's Shinsegae Records. Yes. <laughs> Shinsegae Department Store. <laughs> so we're going to visit the, the basement of, the, of this building. They usually have a lot of really good food on, up and gifts and that kind of thing uh, ready. So yeah. let's go see what they have on offer. Going down to the basement level. So they have some persimmon and pine nuts and walnuts and great sets like that. Wow. This one here is $140. Oh. <laughs> it's got to be super good prices. I mean super good prices. Super good quality, I guess, for those prices. This one's $49. It's not bad. What is this? It's more the gokkam. Uh -huh. More persimmon, dried persimmon. Yeah, that one's like really dried. Mm -hmm. But like... 120 bucks for this set. Oh, this is a songi. Songi. This is mu mushroom. $480 for this box of mushrooms. And we got the pears and apples. This box is only $160. Wow. You get eight apples and six pears. <laughs> but these pears, though, are huge. Buy pears like that, and I, I, I want to eat it all in one sitting because it'll be, otherwise it won't be fresh. Yeah. But they're so huge that they fill up my entire stomach. <laughs> During this time of year, fruit is extremely expensive. Like this one, this is not a gift set, but this one mango is is thirteen dollars, more than thirteen. Well, yeah, yeah, about thirteen dollars yeah. for one mango. mango. Wow. Yeah, here this pear, fifteen bucks. This one cantaloupe. It's 40. 40. Because <laughs> it's wearing pants. 40 bucks. <laughs> because it, because they tied a <laughs> nice ribbon around it's wearing, it. It's wearing pinstripe pants. Mm. Definitely we don't mind spending money on our family, but it just I wonder where they, they come up with some of these prices. Yeah, look, 62,000 won. The six, like about 60 bucks for this. Wow, what do we got? This is a very big fruit basket. Yeah, guess the price, Corey. Uh, oh, you turned it? Okay, yeah, guess so the price. 500 bucks. Oh man. Was that right? No. Uh, I was way overpriced. <laughs> 284 though. Yeah. Still but very it's still expensive. ridiculous. You know? I was gonna guess, like, that could be 500 bucks and someone probably yeah. would buy it. 187 for that. I mean, they're beautiful. It's nice, They're yeah. beautiful. If they're including delivery in there too, maybe. Yeah, that's maybe. true. I actually want to comment on something. There's there's a huge egg shortage in Korea right now. Um, like serious. I know you see some here, but uh, because the avian influenza, there was another outbreak, and they killed all the chickens here. They just buried them. Yeah. 
and so now everyone's freaking out because there are no reasonably priced uh, chicken uh, eggs. I think these are from more like high-end farms. Maybe they weren't affected, but these factory farms, diseases spread so fast. So it's, a, it's like an, I don't know, a big issue these days. Mushrooms. This set is 100. It's a, it's a kind of root. It's not ginseng. Yeah, this one's uh, 200 for this one. What is this? It's like kind of jerky. This is a box of beef jerky, really? So this whole box is yeah. 40. Hanu. It's like the Hanu beef. Yeah, local, locally <laughs> raised, grass fed beef, Korean beef. But wow, a box of jerky for 200 bucks. And look, they also have some stuff from Singapore. <laughs> this is a very popular brand in Singapore, and they also have it in Korea. And so apparently there's gift sets from there too. Hmm. So, Marie, what are we looking at here? We're looking at some more uh, domestically raised beef. Uh, and that box of beef is $1,000. $1,000. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, well, hey, look. This one's 50 bucks off. 950 <laughs> wow, that is expensive. Dried fish. That one is two thousand dollars. A box of fish for two thousand dollars. I really wonder though, like, is the difference between these fish and that fish is it really that much of a difference, you know? Or do, we, do they just put price tags on there? Why? To the people who want to spend a lot of money. Why is that two thousand dollars? I think it's a strategy to, a lot of people will put something really, really high priced so that when they look at the other things that are lower price, it looks less expensive. Okay, so oh, I don't want to spend 2000 but so I'll, buy the, I'll buy the 800 one. Yeah, it's a psychological thing. Yeah. What is this? Seaweed? Yeah, it looks like seaweed. Dashima. Uh, and boy, that makes some uh, broth. Hairtail fish, 330 bucks. Here's some giant abalone it's for 380 bucks. So in this uh, basement level, besides the food, there's also a food court. And it's a really nice food court. It's great food. I mean, it's a little more expensive, but it's just a, it's, it's actually a really nice place to shop. Obviously, I'm not usually spending a thousand dollars on yeah. anything. This is the more common stuff you see people getting because it's more affordable and it's more of like what people eat. Spam. Spam and oil. Ah, okay. <laughs> there's this, there's like oil and seasoning. Yeah, so everything that you would need to, to cook, I mean, they're just like. If you bring to your, if you bring this to your family's house, they, they really appreciate it because they're depleting all their stocks when they're cooking for us, right? Mm -hmm. But um, still, I don't know. I, I I can't really get around the spam thing. Right. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy spam anyway because it's meat. But but I don't understand why other people do. Yeah. And then there's oil. That's the oil. This is a salt set. So. Uh, and there's also soy sauce there as well. I like this kind of thing looks really interesting to me. Oh. This is hangwa. So this is a whole bunch of traditional snacks. This this box is two hundred and fifty dollars. Wow, <laughs> for this whole box. Yeah, yeah, it's very beautiful. I mean, who wouldn't want to get that? But at the same time, it's like. Hmm. Some dried anchovies and shrimp for like a hundred bucks. Here's a is this syrup and oil and what else? Yeah, this is nice. Um, yeah, and salt. Oh, it's a raw pearl oil. Mm, this is nice. I think Haimani would like this kind of dessert. Yeah. Oh, there's coconut oil. I think this is one of my favorites so far. This this one. I think Haimani would really like it. Do you want to try to get it? <laughs> I want to look a little bit more. Uh, okay. So this is like the supposedly healthier version of spam. <laughs> this? Yeah. It's like a, like what do you call it, gourmet spam. <laughs> uh, so here's something that we mentioned earlier: shampoos and toothpaste. Mm -hmm. These toothpaste, it's a bamboo salt toothpaste. So hmm. it's interesting. Yeah, and the price is not bad. 
like 15 bucks 20 bucks and this is stuff that people would use every day in the shower and stuff like that so it's very useful these are some traditional Korean Bechi. alcohol moon veggie yeah it's beautiful I like the ceramics it looks nice Here's some uh, more ginseng. This one's 300 bucks for this uh, Korean ginseng. Hello, what's up? The, the very tea. famous green tea company from Jeju. These are nice gifts right here. Yeah. And they got the green tea milk spread. We featured this in one of our Korea curated uh, subscription boxes before. Yeah. Last year. are always good gifts. Yeah. And they're not like super super expensive. Yeah. So here's some chocolates. It says premium chocolate and they got like the sole design and stuff on them. Um, but there's some pretty cute things here. Like there's like little dogs wearing hanbok. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's an imprint of the Omanon money. There was uh, some cats over here which looked kind of cute. What is this? So they're chocolate but they have messages on them. Yeah, it reminds me of like stamps. Like a stamp set. Here, where's this cat? Yeah, here it is. This is very cute. Hello! <laughs> He's crying. Mm. Okay, so we got the, we're gonna get two gifts today. The first one is for Corey's emo. And the other My aunt. aunt's aunt's family, and then the other one is for Corey's uncle's family. Yes. And because Corey's aunt, uh, they have access to the U.S. military base, so we thought for them we want to get something more Korean uh, because foreign stuff is not as exciting for them. Yeah. But for um, for Corey's uncle, this is a nice tin box of tea, and the good thing about it is that they come all wrapped up, so you don't have to do anything like that. And it comes in a nice little uh, bag. And it says Shinsege, and so like that's also like a brand thing. People are like, whoa, Shinsege. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. this must be a good gift. Yeah, let's put this. Okay. I'm gonna do it, yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. It's got whole grain syrup, citron grain syrup, uh, perilla leaf oil, dulke powder, seaweed salt. Wow, they like triple bagged it, huh? What is this? Oh, it's salt. I think this is really neat. Hmm, mineral salts. Yeah, it's natural salts. Very interesting. <laughs> the barbecue salt. Wow, it's like a Rice Krispie treat, but it's all nuts. Mm -hmm. this, is this cranberry? It looks like cranberry. Topped with... is it? it looks like cranberry. Oh, here's the... Yeah, cranberry. Yeah. I know cranberry when I see it. So typically it wouldn't be made from cranberries. It's kind of like a new, new uh, spin on it all. Yeah. Here's like a box set for 115. Looks very nice. It's pretty. Mm. I'm okay, but you can go for it. I will. Okay. Mm. Can you see the inside? It's like super light. Mm, very crispy and fluffy yeah. looking. And then just toasted rice on the outside. I always love this kind of stuff. This is a uh, tokkabi. They are huge tokkabi. Thing looks like it weighs like five pounds. This is a lot of the stuff that people would typically cook yeah. for the, the holiday. And so if they just buy it like this, nobody has to cook it. Yeah, this is the stuff my grandmother and my aunt like are going to make at home. Or in the case of what happened last year, we're going to all help together. That's true. All different kinds of john. Also, it's a lot of different tuk. It's 
for the New Year's. Uh, they have tteokguk, the rice cake soup. So this is the duck, different colored duck. So we got our gifts and we're good to go. So tomorrow morning we'll head up to uh, family's home early in the morning. And yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed walking around the ridiculously priced gift sets with us. Please subscribe if you like this video, guys. Thanks a lot for all your support. Ask a lot of questions. See you next time. Bye.